Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics. Now let me show you how not to set up a 10 gallon tank. Come join me. So I start off by putting down my foam underneath my tank. It's usually what I do before I set up any tank. I wipe out my tank with some vinegar. Make sure it looks nice and cute for her. I want to surprise her, set it up. I make sure I level it. Make sure it's level from all angles. So far, so good. Got a light fixture that I took off another tank. added some blue sand because I thought the blue is real pretty. I already have sponge filters with lots of beneficial bacteria growing in another, uh, another tank next to it. What I got are, is needs some hide, hiding spaces so I got a couple of uh, caves and places for them to hide. Airline splitter because I'm going to be running two sponge filters, one on each side. My little tiny air pump, the smallest one I could find in the house. Check valve. sure it's all set up real cute so when she comes home from work she's gonna see up oh, drop my phone can't set up a fish tank without dropping my phone <laughs> uh, I'm thinking I'm all that I still got plenty of time to get ready for work uh, feeling pretty good too I'm recording it. I didn't forget to record it. I have enough phone storage. Everything, all the stars were lining up. I'm like, this is great. And I do like the, the split valve for the air pump with the metal handle. Clean as I go. I'm adding a little bit of water. Put my water conditioner in because I don't want to put my beneficial bacteria, the sponges, in there. Uh, let's take note right about here. Do you see on that little yellow front, there's a little bit of water. I don't recall spilling any water, but I see it, clean it up, thinking, oh, I must have spilled water, or because my hands are always in the tank. Maybe I got a little bit more in there. A little bit closer. That water spot is growing. Oh, plug it in. Yeah, the light works fine. Air stones are working, but there's even a little bit more water now. I don't take too much notice to it because I can be a little sloppy. Would have been real cute. There's just one thing I forgot to do. Check to see if the tank holds water. The tank was leaking. The brand new tank was leaking, and this is the aftermath. <laughs> so, if you don't want to make the same mistake I made, just test your tank first. Fill it up with water. I think I've learned. I think I've learned. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Thanks, guys.